Hey, welcome everybody to another hype session. We are coming to you on LinkedIn. We are coming to you on IGTV at Startup Hype Man. And our audio is being shared with you through Startup Hype Man, the podcast. Today, I've got Naveen Goyal. Naveen is the co-founder and CEO of Loud Capital, a venture capital firm based out of Columbus, Ohio and the Midwest at large, being loud with their dollars. Naveen, welcome to this hype session. Thank you very much for having me. Well, let's start there. You guys are loud with your money. You're loud with your voice. Tell me what that means. Yeah, so uh, originally loud, uh, the name came from being loud and active as an investor versus silent investment uh, as an angel and stepping back and figuring out what's going to hit and what's not. Uh, we feel like getting your hands in, and involved uh, on the entrepreneurship mindset into a company will help build the company successfully. Okay, so tactically then, when you think about being loud, do you see it from a standpoint of what are the companies you're investing doing and how are they being loud or how is loud capital essentially voicing its opinion? Actually, both. So the original intent was to be active into the companies and so the companies can make a loud impact. Um, but also on the other side, I'm glad you brought that up. We also believe in educating about venture capital and entrepreneurship. And so we're very outgoing in that. And, and you know, if you look at traditional venture capital, it's very, I like to call it ivory tower. There's like a lot of closed doors, very hidden. You don't know a lot about them. People can't even get in touch with a lot of venture capital firms that, you know, some, sometimes we've heard that. So we like to be very out there, um, very grounded. Again, being early stage uh, venture capital is also very different from later stage venture capital but being very involved in the ecosystem and the community is something that we're very passionate about. With that in mind, can you talk through sort of the, I would say less than traditional origin story of Loud Capital and how you got into investing? Because you don't have a Wall Street background. You weren't an iBank or anything like that. You're actually a physician. Right, exactly. So um, I'm a uh, physician trained, you know, anesthesiologist and I co-founded a company called Smile MD about several years ago, seven specifically, and we basically, you know, started this mobile anesthesia company, and that started changing my mindset on what entrepreneurship is, what it can do to empower a person. Even though you get kicked in the gut plenty of times as an entrepreneur, it's very exciting and it's your own journey. And so, when we started uh, Smile MD, and then also started investing um, with my other co-founder Darshan. Um, we created a small fund initially. That's how we started Loud. Uh, it really was a side gig. But what happened afterwards was people started coming you know, to us and saying, we heard you guys are investing. This would be great if we could somehow get involved. And that's where we started raising capital and investing uh, along those lines. But just knowing how em empowered we were and how we were empowering others, that's where venture capital became very enticing to us. And so Darshan's an entrepreneur. I'm a physician entrepreneur. So yeah, very different DNA and aspect in this company uh, and, and probably very different. So we're just taking it a whole different approach to it. Well, and I would think that that, that non-traditional background gives you a unique perspective because while well, you had that physician experience, which is a grueling in its own right, like the training that goes into that, med school and all that. But then on top of that, being an entrepreneur yourself in the past, you kind of know what the, the mindset of the founder is. So can you talk through some of Loud Capital's past investments? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're four years old, uh, just over four years old, and we've invested in uh, just over 40 different companies. And some of those are very small seed amounts. Some of them are larger. Uh, but we have been industry agnostic and have invested in multiple different companies from um, healthcare, hydrogen energy, some agricultural aerospace. So we're a lot of different industries because we do realize that technology does touch a lot of things um, especially today it actually is in fact a big part of many industries and so if someone's doing uh, a great technology over here how can we learn and not reinvent the wheel that would help this portfolio company over here so i'm sorry did you want me to say specific companies we've invested in that'd be great yeah if you can talk through maybe one or two specific companies yeah of course um so you know we are based in columbus ohio and there's a, a company that comes to mind called Hot Chicken Takeover. Uh, and, and I say it because it's very not traditional route of venture capital, but what happened was um, it, it's, a, it's a great founder with a team who basically 
uh, started a hot chicken joint basically to get the educational component of how you can give second, second chances to uh, various employees. So he hires people with history of any kind of uh, criminal justice record and basically employs them. But just like our model of venture capital, it's a very comprehensive approach. It's not, hey, we're giving you a job. This is great. It's also micro loans. It's also looking at the uh, community around those people who are basically getting doors shut all around them. So it's employing, giving microloans and essentially lifting up people who happen to get a record, let's say years ago, uh, they've already done their time and now it's a true second chance. And so that's what the founder is really passionate about. And he started selling hot chicken, utilizing um, this HR model. And basically now it has a huge following, just opened up in another city in Ohio. The chicken's great, but when you go in there, the people, the employees there are happier than, you know, when I first walked into a Starbucks several years sure. ago. Very sure. proud. Um, really a great experience eating there. Uh, and then, you know, you just learn about the population that can't get a job, who has a, a record. So just, just opens up my mind and our mind to learning about uh, the population and what we can do with uh, a lot of great human capital. Now, let's talk about a different way you guys are being loud, which is something that I personally haven't seen before or very rarely seen before, and that is this upcoming pitch competition in conjunction with, drum roll please, the Chicago Bulls. That's right. You guys have a venture pitch competition in partnership with the Chicago Bulls. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So, it's uh, obviously, we're very excited as well. Um, we partnered with the Bulls basically last winter. Um, and been talking and working on this very um, uh, closely on. And basically the Chicago Bulls organization, which is a phenomenal global brand, um, decided that they want to uh, get more involved and, and more exposure to the entrepreneurial world. And uh, when we opened up our office last year in Chicago, uh, they reached out and we started talking and they basically asked if we could run a, a venture kind of competition that would highlight various great companies in the Chicagoland area uh, and how maybe one of those companies can potentially help uh, various aspects of the Chicago Bulls organization. So we are running it. Um, we've, uh, I call it an activation of the Chicago ecosystem is obviously a great startup ecosystem and our goal and what we've done organically here in Columbus. And we, we feel like we want to do in general is to connect a lot of dots and a lot of stakeholders in that ecosystem. And you take a startup and you take, of course, there's capital, but there's so many other resources and things that companies need to help grow, commercialize, eventually exit, get acquired, or whatever their end goals are. So we are doing business as usual, but we're doing it with a great global brand of the Chicago Bulls. I'm talking with Naveen Goyal, co-founder and CEO of Loud Capital. Now, Naveen, the deadline for that Chicago Bulls venture competition is December 16th. How can startups apply if they are interested? So there's a website uh, off of the Chicago Bulls website, uh, also the Loud Capital website, where you can click and, and there's all the instructions of how to apply. There'll be a short video, there'll be a pitch deck, there'll be, it's very specific, um, but we really want a lot of people to apply. Uh, we'll be doing some various um, sessions in Chicago, uh, you know, details to be announced uh, before we pick a winner, uh, probably that's going to be in April. So we hope to really engage the whole community and there will be one technical winner, but there'll be a lot of other companies that get exposure and get the opportunity to get mentorship from our various uh, partners. One of them being 1871 in Chicago. Um, we've just partnered with them to really help facilitate a lot of the mentorship and a lot of the other resources that we can potentially bring to the table for companies. And where can we find out about Loud Capital? Loudcapital.com, loud.vc, what's the best route? Uh, loud.vc is the least amount of letters. So <laughs> he is Naveen Goyal, the co-founder and CEO of Loud Capital. I am Raj Nation, the founder of Startup Hype Man. This has been another hype session brought to you on LinkedIn, Instagram TV at Startup Hype Man and through Startup Hype Man, the podcast on the audio feed. Naveen, pleasure chatting with you. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it.